Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we have a very beautiful sunny afternoon here in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm just at the uh, another location's Home Depot, different location than I usually go to. And uh, I'm going to take it easy here for a couple of hours before I uh, go park the, the van in front of my ex-wife's condo for the night. I think i got to get up at the uh, route. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So let's talk about um, a few ideas I have for uh, the van layout and how I'm going to organize things as I move along. Okay, so I've made some progress on this wall and um, I have the... Uh, can't really see it course because I've got the wood over it but I got a plastic vapor barrier underneath that uh, tongue and groove pine and I'm gonna go from floor to ceiling with that I'm gonna cover it all over even behind here it's kind of it's not gonna be seen as much but I figure I'll just keep uh, keep the tongue and groove just to keep it looking the same I think it'll be better but I don't know, like, there's a couple things I'm trying to figure out here, like, number one, what should I paint this? This definitely has to be painted, but I have no idea what color. I'm thinking maybe even black, or, um, I don't know, maybe navy blue, dark blue. Not sure, but, uh, I'm gonna probably do the door, once this is just a rough, roughed-in door that's not gonna be the way it is. And I'm probably gonna do the door, um, with the uh, tongue and groove as well. So, um, I'm just going to go over the general layout, how I'm going to do things. Originally, I had this idea that I was going to put like a recliner here facing with the, uh, the back, back here and then you'd be sitting on it facing that wall. And I was just going to use like a car seat you can buy off craigslist for i mean i've seen them as cheap as five bucks um but you know sky's the limit on that you can spend from five to three hundred dollars probably like out of a honda civic or something just something comfortable it's got springs in it and everything but i'm rethinking that idea and thinking instead of doing that just making my bed really comfortable and using that to sit on it's just a better use of space um, not 100% sure on this idea, but um, thinking of a uh, problem with my bed right now is it's pretty comfortable when you initially sit on it for the first hour or so, but then it compresses. And by two hours or so, um, um, you know, I'm not a light guy, I'm about 215, 220, and my body, uh, like when I wake up and stuff in the night, my, my hips are resting on the plywood underneath, and maybe the the foam was compressed that much and there's a hard surface underneath. So I'm thinking of buying some extra firm foam, maybe four inches of it, and putting it under here so that when it compresses, it won't compress the foam down that much because of the extra firm stuff. But it's just really a thought. I haven't, I don't know if it's going to actually work. I think it'll work. Um, but it really, the only option I can use for this bed is foam because of it's short. It's like 70 inches across. So I can't use a, uh, a regular uh, spring mattress, uh, which is too bad because I intended to buy a really good one and put it in there for extra comfort. So the idea is if I don't have a recliner here, I could put my heater right here. And then um, I have this idea that I want to make a permanent toilet. Well, if you want to call it a toilet, using this uh, deal, and actually, uh, this is exactly what I'd be using. The dimensions of this, anyway, it's like a milk crate dimension. And for me, you know, what I do is I just stick this right on there, and there you go, wham bam. So it'd be this kind of idea. I wouldn't use this. I would build the. Uh, the toilet box to this dimension of the milk crate which is I believe it's 11 inches high and then 13 inches 
around the uh, perimeter. I'm not positive on that. And then I would stick my pee jug in there and then encapsulate it somehow to make sure it wouldn't move. But at the same time, I want to make it so it's easy to get out. So I don't know how I would do that, maybe with bungee cords or something, I don't know. And that way I could easily empty it. And if I have to do a number two, I just take it out and wrap some uh, plastic bag around it, do my business and toss it. Um, but I, I mean, you know, this is all, I'd have to raise this. I'd want this a little bit lower and uh, I'd have to adjust it to my anatomy to make sure it all fits properly. But anyway, um, I can make a nice box and stick this right in the corner over here. All this stuff will be gone and uh, have a permanent toilet. And that would be uh, definitely nice to have one spot to go. Because, you know, with right now, you're always looking for the pee jug and lots of fun. So beside the pee jug, I would have... My idea right now is just to have build like a, a boxed-in shelf unit that would just go straight up and uh, be like a kind of like a wardrobe thing with a door that closes and over here I would have a box um, another box in unit and my idea is I'm either going to use my current heater which is the Olympian Wave 3 I wonder if I could sit on this toilet without breaking it um, or um, I might get the uh, Dickinson Newport P9000 and if I did I could put it here and then the pipe would go out the top. But of course, I gotta be careful of this thing. And I don't know, lots of stuff to think about. I think what I'm gonna do is use my Wave 3 for this winter and see how it does. It's supposed to be a cold winter. And if it's not enough, or it's barely enough, then uh, I'll probably move on to the uh, Newport Dickinson P9000, but we'll see. So that would cover that entire area, toilet, storage area, and then heater. And I would put the heater above, above a bit, and I'd want enough room to stick my uh, propane tank under it, underneath it, where there's no heat. And i um, thinking of doing it that way. Another idea I have, instead of putting the heater there, is eventually where these base cabs are, these have to stay here pretty much. I already took this piece out just to push them back farther in is I would make like a little cupboard kind of a deal and put a piece of wood all the way down here probably tongue and groove again and then put the heater the way three on this side and then have the propane tank under the counter because eventually here I am going to be building the kitchen counter and my idea is to have if I don't put the heater over there, which I may not, I'm not really sure yet, I could put the propane tank here, heater there, and then leave a space for like a desk area for an office chair right where these clothes are. And um, then I'd have a space to, you know, have some desk area, eating table kind of a thing. And then I'd have my um, stove, which is right here currently. Right there, and then my cooler, which I'm going to build into the counter. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do uh, my cooler, I think. I'm going to put it into the counter like that, and then maybe build a box over it, or a fancy lid, just to make it look nicer. And then I have to decide where I'm going to put my water container. I'm deciding where I want to put it elevated, um, to use a gravity situation, or to get an actual water pump. There's pros and cons to that. Here's the water jug. The con of having it elevated is that when it's full, um, if this thing isn't plugged in perfectly, it could leak. And I really don't want water everywhere. And also, uh, getting it in there, I mean, it's only 10 liters. It's not too bad. I could easily lift it up there. But it would be kind of handy just to have it underneath the counter with a pump problem with the pump is I don't know how noisy those pumps are they seem really noisy from what I've seen and um, being that I have to be ultra stealthy sometimes 
like parked on the street with people walking by. I don't know if I want noises emanating out of the van where people can hear. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what this would look like in a more um, sort of like a graphic uh, display with a picture. So I'm just going to walk through all the different parts here. And I'm going to put a little underline with my uh, little red pen here on the various parts. Starting at the base cabs, they would stay there. And then I would have my counter desk area. And over there, let's see if I can do this. I would stick, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Now it's going to be red. Oh well. I would stick an office chair right here. Kind of a thing. And of course we have our, um, I gotta go back to my pointy thing. Where's my lines? Uh, we have our stove. My Coleman stove would be there. Look, that's huge. <laughs> Oops. Do I care? Not really, but I'm picky, so I'm going to change that. Uh, this program I'm using is called PixArt. It's just an Android app. I'm using my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which is my only computer thing that I use. So this is one of the apps you can get off the Google Store. So here is the stove. And then, uh, so that'll be my Coleman one burner stove. And then I'm going to have my cooler. And um, I'm like I showed you in that previous picture, I'm going to build that right into the counter. And I'm going to try to have like a, some sort of wooden cover built over it. Um, just to make less plastic. Plastic is not really an appealing look, so the less plastic I can have, the better. Of course, over here we have my pillow and the bed. And, um, and that's going to have storage under there for sure. And then with the toilet over here, well, that didn't really make a circle, did it? Just made a line. I could make, um, I could make like a, a seat out of this as well. So, uh, this is kind of lame, isn't it? like some kind of foam padded seat that you could sit down so the lid would close and you wouldn't even know the toilets are. I've seen some of those online. It looks really cool. Um, and then here you have your wardrobe or storage area or clothes closet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that would be right there. I'm not 100% sure about that. I could do something else with that. Um, and here I'd have my, my heater. Um, to start out with, it would be the Wave 3 heater. And underneath the heater, there would be my um, propane tank underneath it. And then, of course, we've got this sliding door entrance. Um, the door from the cab to come in. And then we've got these little cupboard doors above the cab area here, which has a whole bunch of storage in here over the, over the seating area. Anyway, I know that's a mess and I apologize, uh, but uh, yeah, that's basically a rough idea of what I'm thinking of now um, in terms of the layout. Anyway, um, I hope that gives a, a somewhat understandable uh, um, graphic display of what my kind of plans are for this van. And um, I'm hoping to make it livable, functional, and uh, comfortable. Later on, you know, I might put a, a TV over here and I might do some other stuff, but this is just kind of like the beginnings of it. So, uh, there you have it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Have a good night. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.